Okay, this case is for a left colectomy stent placement. I know it says left colectomy and you're thinking, oh, we're only gonna use the uh, left ureters, but actually we're gonna need to put two stents in there so that when we're inside the belly, we don't accidentally cut the ureters, right? Um, there's two types of stents. These are not the lighted ones. These are just the yellow ones. They don't glow in the dark or anything, but there are um, ones that glow inside the belly so that it's easier to see. But the surgeon is pretty good so he can actually pinpoint exactly where they are just by touching it and you could really feel it inside the belly during laparoscopic cases. So this is just a basic setup for a stent. Um, all trays are different in every single facility, so I'm just going to show you the basic stuff. Most surgeons will use this number 21. It's hard to see because this thing is old, okay? So this was like this, right? And I'll explain why. So I like to just cut it off so that the water that goes in here doesn't just splash anybody. So I use number 21. This is called a double bridge. It's actually a one bridge. But since obviously we're doing um, two ureters, you're going to use a double bridge, right? So these two come together. You kind of just have to play around with it. It's like a puzzle. And this kind of rotates. And if you can see from the inside, you see how that kind of aligns with that to open it up? Yeah, that's where you want to put this. And you lock it. Again. That's a bit aggressive. There you go. And close. And it doesn't move, okay? So these are called nipples. They do not come in it, but they come in the tray. So you must put them by yourself. Um, so all you need to do is go in here and go in here. Why do I need this? Well, this actually goes in here. They go in here. And I like to put it all the way at the end. You know, not that much. You want to use lube because it's going to be harder to go in without it. Okay. And then these things out here, you just take it off. But I suggest that you keep it just in case your surgeon uses it. But I know my surgeon, he doesn't use that. Okay. And then this is the scope. Our um, tray only comes with um, 12 degree. There's other um, degrees of scope in some trays, but because this surgeon pretty much uses everything, whatever is in this tray, this is what I use, okay? So I installed this one because, oh, you know what? I don't have the, um, the camera and stuff. So I'm gonna go show you guys that um, after. So this is how it comes with the 12 degree scope. This will not fit in the camera and the, and the lighted cord. So they have a, an extension. So you just plug this in there. Okay. And then this just goes smoothly in here. And then you should hear a click. Okay. And then that's it. So this is how you're going to set this up on a um, left colectomy stent placement very very basic stuff um, if your surgeon um, does not use it the way like this at least you have something set up if not what you can do is lay everything out on your table I know it looks messy it's just because this is like a two-minute case you just lay everything out you know and he'll pick whatever he wants and then that way he can see everything because most of the time when you get the tray it's very messy and the surgeon doesn't know where things are so Worst case scenario, you just lay everything out, including the scope, and make it nice for them to see, and you will be set.